Anna probably went off after what Dickie left up here. You can't let her be out there alone. I know, but it needed to be taken care of. I concur. Hurry, Sam. No cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own. What are you thinking, Sam? You can't just leave Anna here alone. Declan could be here already. I should be careful. Syringes, bottles, Basswood has been having a tough few years. Finally pull yourself out of your days long enough to join me. I was worried about you. It's fine. I'm okay now. We have to get this done. That's true. So I guess this could be all of this madness coming to a close, right? Hopefully in the good way. Maybe we can bring Nick and Dennis some justice. I'm ready to see it end. Anna, whatever happens, I'm really glad someone's here with me. Sam, we can get all sappy once this is all over. Now we need those files. I can't find them anywhere. Did Dickie say where the dead drop was? He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. <sighs> the dead drop doesn't seem to be here. Too exposed. A precarious path out into the dark. Not a bad metaphor for my life right now. Nowhere to hide a USB stick here. Rotten food. Probably too gross even for someone like Dickie. Found it. You did? Let me see. With this? We'll be able to put Declan behind bars and clear your name. Come on. Hold it there, boss. Whoa. Declan. Now, you two just relax. We're here for the same reason. Now, all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? <laughs> it was harder than you think. Tell me what happened with Nick. Why did you kill him? Same thing that happened to you. He saw an opening and jumped in it. He started asking questions, never actually thought he'd find answers. But he did. And then he kept playing with fire, so he got burned. So that's it. 
You killed him because he did his job. Don't start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool, Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. Turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. Almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? You always seem to care about this town. Its history, its people. Why do this? I care more about this town than anyone. I've spent my whole life protecting it. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis, that part wasn't supposed to happen. But here we are. And I'm done leaving behind loose ends. Anna's gonna try something. I think enough people are dead, Declan. Think about what you're doing. Is this what you want? You killed Nick. You killed Dennis. You're running the drug ring in Basswood. If only you could have left it at that. But you had to poke around again. Now I have two witnesses to deal with, thanks to you. This is bad. Be careful. Every word will count from now on. You have to lower his guard long enough for you and Anna to gain the upper hand. It's gonna be hard, but remember, I'm with you. Every word of the way. Tell me exactly why I shouldn't kill both of you right here. Because it's not what you want. The sooner you understand it, the better. I've changed my opinion of you, Sammy. You're not that clever. What he means is, two more dead bodies will draw unwanted attention. It'd be easier to let us go. We'll both stay quiet. <laughs> Maybe you should let Anna do the talking for you, Higgs. Look, I don't want to do this, but I promise, it ain't personal. Don't delude yourself. Nothing is more personal than this, and you won't do it. What makes you think that? Seen into my soul? You have to tell him exactly what he wants to hear. You and me, we can do this. He wants things to stay as they were, to cover up the whole story. If he thinks you'll get in his way, he won't hesitate to pull that trigger. not some psycho killer, Declan. You're in over your head. I doubt you ever intended to kill anyone. Dickie's still alive. You could have killed him, and you didn't. You're still a cop. You still care about this town. Maybe you're right, Sam. Maybe deep down I don't want to hurt anyone. Or maybe I just still had a use for Dickie, and I was just thinking of paying him a visit as soon as I got the goods. Good luck finding him. He won't show up if he doesn't hear from us again. I know you're bluffing. You seem to think you can just walk away. Go ahead. Tell me how that happens. For all his bad boy act, it's clear he wants insurances. To know he's safe. Deep down, he thinks everyone is as crooked as he is.
You know this only ends in one of two ways. Choose the right one, Declan. Lower your weapon and turn yourself in. I'm in way past turning myself in. I'd rather put a bullet in my own head. But let's just imagine I take the evidence and let you go. How do I know you won't double-cross me? Why should I trust you? You're you. You care about stories, not people. You published that article and sank the whole town, leaving saps like me to clean it up. If I let you go, who's to say it won't be the same thing all over again? You know, as a criminal and as a cop, he's probably seen lots of desperate people doing desperate things. Stay calm. Appear confident. You staring down the barrel of his gun is already having an effect on him. Because if I talked, I know you'd be coming after me. I'm not suicidal. You're only saying that because I'm pointing a gun at you. But when I'm not, who knows what you'll do. Well, this was all very entertaining. But I'm done chatting. Give me that evidence, Santa. Here. I hope you choke on it. It all comes down to this, Sam. Anna's about to jump him. Keep his attention on you. People will figure it out eventually, Declan. Well, you won't be around to find out. No, you don't! Anna! woman has been shot. I need an ambulance. Just hurry! Anna? Can you hear me? I need you to stay with me. I need you to... This is one funeral I can't avoid. Sam, got a moment? I hope you know you've got my honest sympathies. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, I wanted to tell you, we found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. Dickie's statement also corroborates your testimony. No charges are going to be filed against you. It's clear self-defense. Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. She's worried about her re-election chances as sheriff. She's playing cleanup for the whole police force right now. Before you answer, just remember, it's always nice to have a police chief as a friend.
I understand, Bess, but I'm worried. Everyone in town is, I think. Someone is gonna need to find out how this happened. Hopefully you, Bess. One of my best officers turns drug dealer. You just don't see it coming. The best rarely burn out first, but when they do, everything burns with them. Sounds like you might be speaking from experience. You're a real bird dog, huh? Some dogs lie, some dogs hunt. Officer. Bess, hon. I've known you too long for you to call me anything else. Anyway, I guess I've kept you long enough. I'll let you go now. Look after yourself, Sam. Just remember, this funeral isn't about you. Or even Anna. It's about everyone. Us mourners sharing catharsis. I could use some of that today. Listen. Empathize. Express yourself. Let them see she mattered to you. Don't be afraid, and you'll be fine. Hey, Ethan. Sam, I'm uh, not sure what to say. I know you and Anna were close. I I'm sorry about what happened. I appreciate that. Hey, um, I never apologized for trashing the bar that night. I'm sorry. <sighs> Forget it. It's not the first brawl I've had in my bar. It won't be the last. So, you uh, holding up all right? I'm all right. Don't worry about me. Listen, uh, next time you're at the Haven, let me buy you a beer, all right? I'll probably take you up on that. You're angry. You have every right to be. I should press charges. You could have killed people. I'm truly sorry for what happened. I was so obsessed with finding Dickie. I was out of line. You were. But your actions also stopped a truly terrible man. Sam, do not lose yourself in obsession. It is a most dangerous place to be lost. I was lost there for a time, but I think I found myself now. So, was it worth it in the end? I'm not sure. It's still something I ask myself every day. As do I. I hope you'll find your answer. I'm sorry for your loss, Sam. It's been a rough week. Yes, it has. Maybe the roughest I have ever seen. And I've lived almost twice as long as you. He's completely lost faith in himself. First Nick, now Anna. And he's convinced he could have prevented Nick's death if he had only listened. He doesn't want to retire so much as he thinks he should retire. <sighs> Walter, don't blame yourself for what happened. None of this was your fault. You can't let it get to you. And honestly, what would the Basswood Jungle be without its famous chief editor? How did you... Is it that obvious? Well, I did think about retiring, yes. But maybe the ship still needs its captain. I could go for another journey. Thank you for the kind words, Sam. It means a lot, it really does. What about you? Did you have time to consider... what comes next? I'm not planning to stay in town. Nothing for me here anymore. Hard to blame you. As for me, I may stay around a bit longer than I was expecting. I don't think you'll ever leave, Walter. Well, it's like you said. Sometimes you need to ride until you can't anymore. Basswood is my town, the jungle is my home. And you'll always be welcome at both. After all, it might be time for you to settle down. 
Life is short and fleeting, like the sunset. If you pay attention, it can be beautiful. If you don't, it's gone before you even know it happened. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Make sure to look after yourself, Samuel. Same to you. Sam. Sam. I've been meaning to call you. Have you talked to Joan? I haven't heard from her since last week. Why? What happened? She ran away. After she heard about Anna's... She just... She left. Do you know where she is? At my sister's. Sam, I don't even know what to do. She won't return my calls. Your calls? Kathy, you have to go talk to her in person. You think I don't know that? You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, I'm not here to judge. I just want to help. I know, I know. Sorry. I've just been dealing with so much lately. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. <sighs> Any advice? Now, Sam, we need to be really careful about this. Kathy's already on edge. Joan noticed her mom is overdoing the painkillers, but we can't just kick the door down and confront her directly. Kathy, Joan is distant because she feels you haven't been yourself lately. She told me at times it's like you don't see her. It's nothing against her. I've just been working myself ragged, and I hurt my back, and... She said it wasn't just that. She's noticed the pills. It's the only way I can deal with my back, and it helps with... with other things. Look, I can't imagine how hard it is to raise a child by yourself. But I don't want to see Joan grow apart from the last parent she has. Oh, God. I... I... I didn't realize it got that bad. You're right. I need to get help. Sam, could I... Could I count on you to help look after Joan every now and then? She needs the people she loves close to her right now. I'd love to. I get along better with her than most adults. I just... I thought I could do this alone. I'm here to help in any way I can. Thank you. And if you ever need something, know your family. Well, I'll try to call her again. I'm real sorry about Anna. We are all grieving. <laughs> Time for you to step in. She needs to know that she's not alone. <laughs> Christina, I know how you feel. I'll always have that hole in my heart where she used to be. She's never coming into my shop again. No, she won't. And it hurts. But you have to remember her for all the good moments you two shared. And you can bet that wherever she is, she misses your coffee. <laughs> I'm sure she does. Thank you, Sam. There have just been too many funerals lately. Yes, there has, madam. Thank you. You have a way with words, young man. Misery loves company, Sam. You did well.
It should have been me. I'm so sorry. Joe, I'm... I'm so... You promised. You promised you'd keep her safe. He's got a lot of rage in him. It's tearing him up. Maybe just let him take it out on you. I knew she was in danger. Your poker face has always been crap, but I trusted you. Thought you'd keep her safe. Thought you cared for her, but you didn't. She's dead, and I'm still here. Old. Broken. Why didn't you kill that bastard sooner? Why'd you let him take my little girl? Should've... Have... My little girl... My little girl, I'm sorry. I just, I, I know you did all you could. I'm, I'm glad she wasn't alone. Sam, you're the only one who might know the pain I'm going through. He needs to know the people who hurt his daughter have been punished. He needs to hear from you that all of this is over. Anna did what she thought was right. And she made a difference. That's what she always talked about, even as a kid. Anna, Anna was, she was, words. You spend your whole life devoted to them. Yet they fail you when you need them most. I miss her. I miss her. And, uh, and I don't think I have anything else. You should say something. Let people know you're grieving with them. You don't have to suffer alone. They're here for you and you're here for them. It's a lot of weight to speak about someone who's gone. How do you start? Anna was the most stubborn person I ever met. Most people don't have the courage to say no to your face. She always did. Because if she thought you were wrong, she cared enough to tell you why. Not many have the strength to do that. Anna always wanted to make sure people's voices would be heard. 
she used her platform to elevate those left behind, those hurting in silence. And she wouldn't stop until they got the justice and respect they deserved. She was braver than me, than anyone I ever met. She never ran from a fight. We honor Anna every time we look at someone and realize they're alive. Every time we stop to consider their feelings. Every time we open ourselves up. Every time we care about the person standing next to us. That's how we honor her. Goodbye, Anna. You'll be missed. Strong words. Strong words. <laughs> She'd have loved that. Well said. <laughs> <laughs>